Hi everyone. Today I am super thrilled to be speaking to the very talented Maria Cornejo. She is the mastermind behind Zero. Maria Cornejo, a beautiful sustainable clothing line. She's known for luxurious, super timeless pieces and uh, you know that you can have in your wardrobe for many, many years and they still look as beautiful as they did the day you bought them. And she also tends to surprise with a beautiful pop of color, which I love. Hi Maria, I'm super excited to chat with you today and to play around with some makeup. Thanks for having me. I'm a little I'm very flattered that you're asking me because I am so bad at all this stuff, so I'm really excited to learn how to put makeup on. So, uh Maria, so you're you're born in Chile, yes. right? And then you grew up in England. You went to school yeah, in England. I, I left Chile um, at 11 years old because of we had 9/11 in our country as well, you know, but it was you know, very different to the one here. And so I went to Peru and then with my parents, we went to England as political refugees. Wow. So I only learned to speak English when I was like 12, 13. So even though I have a sort of English accent, <laughs> it's not my first language. For all of us, nobody started at the top. We all had to build little by little and, you know, and that's why I think in New York, everybody thinks that everybody should be like an instant success, which is not true. They have to. We all started by making mistakes and having no money and figuring things out. Maria, can you um, talk us through a little bit of your uh, sustainable practice when it comes to your your clothing line? Well, it started, you know, when I opened the store um, 24 years ago and my daughter was six and a half. And I, I became very aware of what we were doing to the planet. What I wanted to do also was to be more like an atelier, like in Paris where the designers used to make everything there. So I started by in the store, just creating a creative space and working with leftover fabric that I could find. We're working with our mills, you know, whether it's a mill in, in Italy to get viscose from a sustainable forest or, you know, cotton that's eco-certified. Our denim is also eco-certified and also dyed and it has no treatments. Like it doesn't have, like usually denim goes through so many. Yeah, things, washes. Washes, which are really super toxic for the environment. For next fall, we're experimenting with mushroom leather, which sounds yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, we're looking at that too. We're looking at mushroom leather, apple leather, yes. pineapple leather. I grew up in Chile and everything was pressured. The only, there was no waste. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think uh, moving to America is, is a different, you know, even in Europe, there's more of a culture of keeping things. Our main focus is um, on being refillable and our first things to be refillable will be these, you know, the oh, compacts. Oh, so, yeah, so we are always, you know, talking about um, how to repurpose the packaging and things like that. In terms of packaging, when you ship something, I think it's really hard because people associate a lot of packaging with luxury. So I know it's hard to cut down even with us, you know, with the tissue paper, we've got recycled tissue paper, we've got brown bags and whatever, we have our logo on them. But you know, you, you do see these gorgeous stores that have gorgeous bags in all different colors and you know, and ribbon and you think, yes, it would be really nice. But then you think the bags get thrown away. I see these little bags. I mean, I'm going to reuse all these little bags for my earrings. Yeah, good. I love that, Maria. You know, and I think it's about creating things that you, you, know, you, you want to keep forever. You buy things because you love them. And totally. Then... And, and I also feel like your message is less stuff, but the right stuff. Is that shirt yours, by the way? I'm wearing a jumpsuit, actually. Oh my Ooh. God, so cute. I'm, I love it. I'm such a lazy dresser. How did it go to transition from your black hair to now your beautiful silver hair? I mean, for me, it was, I I had, my brother went totally white in his late thirties. So I knew that it was in there somewhere. So I was letting it go and just making a thing of it rather than hiding it when my, hair started going white I, I always liked that it was gentle on my skin it wasn't as severe it's so pretty on your skin it's almost like its own makeup you know 
and you know don't get me wrong there are many days that i look at myself and i go oh shit i should just diet now and i go through face i think the winter's the toughest time because my tan fades and then i start looking gray and gray and so, so that's you know why like, we have makeup maria should yes. we play around with some makeup now i would love that maria what moisturizer do you use i have an oil that i love fitness daughter and in the winter, the only thing that will keep my uh, skin moisturized is a mixture of oil with um, the Shiseido, the Blacks, uh, what's it called? Something Solutions. And the other thing I love is, is Drunken Elephant. Mm -hmm. I like the vitamin C serum and the, the oil they do. So I have to say my skin, especially in the winter, feels like the color of it is not so I don't know, it's very green. So I like to have some warmth. So I use the Beauty Butter Bronzer, which is in the gold. Okay, so look, so you basically swivel the brush around uh -huh. and it's all about kind of like using a little at a time. So I kind of just go everywhere um, that I would naturally, if I did go in the sun where I would kind of like catch the sun. So I go under my eyes, not like, makeup application but like under eyes on top of the eyelids i can see the difference already look at that side to this side we can do foundation next so basically because your skin is so beautiful and you may not need so much foundation you can kind of take your brush and you know if you want a little under your eyes yeah i always have this corner here that always looks very black <laughs> So then something else that's nice is the lit up. So you have lit up in the gold one. And then you have, I think you have these two, right? Nectar and brulee. They're both highlight sticks. It basically detracts the idea that it's dark because it brings, it attracts the light. Right. And then you have this shade brulee, which is really pretty because it has a little bit of warmth. You can go over your cheekbone. You can also, you know, use it on your lips. I love that you can layer things as well, so that, that all the products sort of can let you layer, yeah? Yeah, they're all friends. You know, they're not family members, but they're friends. <laughs> I love that. Do you ever wear mascara? Yes, right? Yes, I do, but not very often. Only mm -hmm. on special occasions. <laughs> oh, well, this is a special occasion. It is, and this mascara is gorgeous. I always usually start in the middle and I kind of swivel up and then I go to the middle and to the ends. Oh my God, it looks like I've got false eyelashes, look. See, how cute is that? So then you have the red compact also, Maria, right? I love this, it's so gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? And yeah. I, I would love to see how you look with the tomato shape. Okay, let's see. And I'll do the fuchsia. And this formula, Maria, just so you know, that it's um, a plant-based wax because I know these things matter to you. I think like the pink color or the bottom color, you can just take your finger and take a touch and just give yourself a little bit of a flush. It's interesting, you know, now that I'm older, I do like makeup, but it is about wearing makeup, but lighter, more gentle. I know, and being thoughtful about how you do it and where you put it and the textures. Look how pretty you look. I love it. I think I need more lips. I'm like loving yeah, this. Go, I would go for it. So Maria, of course, everyone will want to know where they can buy your beautiful clothes and what the address is of your store. Well, our store is at 33 Bleecker in New York, but you can also buy it online at, you know, www.zeromariacornejo.com. Gosh, Maria, well, thank you so much for doing this with us. Wishy, thank you so much. This is so much fun and I love everything. No, it feels like a really gorgeous ritual, actually. And I think it's good for the morale when you put your, your makeup on, you feel like you're looking after yourself and, and just you instantly feel better, you know? Yeah, so yeah. You put on a beautiful dress and you, or you put on your face, it just gives you that instant boost, I think, of confidence and... Yeah, absolutely. Self-love. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Maria. And uh, thank you for taking the time and everybody check Maria, Zero Maria Cornejo out at 33 Bleecker or on her website. And I'll see you soon, I hope, in person. Big kiss. Take Lots care. Lots of love. Bye.